Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some delicious, easy to make scones. Um, I'll be showing you different types in other videos, but today I'm just going to show you plain scones. So easy to make and so delicious. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. It helps other people get to see the videos. And hit the notification bell, which tells you um, when the videos come out. Just gives you a gentle reminder. And I'd love to hear from you. Just say hello in the comments and maybe say where you're from. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to share it on social media about the channels or the videos that you like so that other people get to see it. Right, so enjoy. Okay, so it's very simple ingredients. As you can see, we've got some self-raising flour. We've got 500 grams. We have 125 grams of butter. Doesn't matter if it's salted or unsalted. Doesn't make any difference. We have one egg, vanilla extract. You don't have to do that. It's just optional. We have 250 mils of full milk. You have half a teaspoon of salt we have 15 grams of baking powder and we have about 40 grams of sugar so into your mixing bowl you just add your flour and then you add your butter and i tend to cut them up into cubes about that kind of size and then if you're doing this by hand just cover the butter with the flour and then what you want to do make sure that the butter is nice and cold and you're going to rub this butter into the flour with your fingers like this small movements like this and so eventually it'll be a breadcrumb mixture now if you didn't want to do this by hand you could put it into a food processor it takes two minutes if you don't want to do that then just do it with your fingers in a bowl by hand it actually feels quite nice to do it like this and it's just your fingers you don't want it to go into the palm of your hands you just want your fingers to, to rub together okay so as you can see this is starting to change into little like a breadcrumb mixture and what you can do is you can kind of just shake the bowl and that will rise up any lumps that you might have missed like this and even then it doesn't matter if you don't get all the lumps of butter out it will just give the scone some nice flaky little pocket holes so it doesn't matter if you don't manage to do all the butter so that is looking about right see that kind of breadcrumby mixture so now we just add our sugar baking powder and our half a teaspoon of salt and just give this a mix around into your breadcrumb mixture you can do it with your hands or, or a spatula or a spoon whichever it doesn't matter right so now we're just going to put one egg into a jug give that a whisk then add your milk to the egg and give it a whisk and then we'll add a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla essence then what you want to do is in your flour mixture is you make a well so you just make a kind of a hole in the middle and then you pour in your liquid mixture into the well and then you just get two forks or you can get your hands and get stuck in there you want to mix the flour into the well and this will all start to bind together so it'll start getting a bit sticky and then when it gets to a certain stage you can get the spatula and it will start binding itself together and when it starts getting firm like this then it's ready to take out with your hands and then what you want to do is just get a handful of flour and sprinkle it over your worktop ready to roll this out so we're going to empty it upside down onto a floured surface area and just wipe that off the spatula whoops <laughs> popped up and then we'll just squash this together with our hand and you can see it'll start combining even more and it'll just be one big solid dough mixture and you don't want it to be too dry but you don't want it to be too soggy so when you combine it all together in the bowl, if you feel you don't need the whole mixture, then that's fine to just leave a little bit. Just depends on your flour, really. So now we're going to roll this out. So you just get a little bit of the flour and sprinkle it onto your rolling pin. So you want to roll this until it's about an inch thick. So it's up to you. You can do the larger cutter or you can do a medium sized one. So I'll do both. So I'll do some of these medium sized one. Just push that down and that's your scone. And we'll just let that rest for about five minutes. Let the baking powder do its job. And then we'll put them in their preheated oven at gas mark seven. For the full recipe, you can see the website, lifestylewithsharon.com. 
and a little tip when you're cutting is just to dip your cutter into the flour and that stops it from sticking. And then with the excess dough mixture, you just put it together again and then roll it back out and then cut some more. Okay, so we'll just place this in these into a baking tin and we'll put these in the oven for between 12 to 15 minutes. So we just want to get some egg, mix it up in a jug or a cup and then if you've got um, a pastry brush, just egg wash the scones at the top. Don't do the sides. If you've not got one of these pastry brushes, so you just dip your finger in and do it that way. This just gives it that lovely golden colour. So we're just going to take these out of the oven now. Oh, the smell is delicious. Oh, look at that. Look how gorgeous these look. So we're just going to put these on a cooling rack now. Be careful. You, if you're doing this at home, you might want to let them cool for a minute before you take them out. But don't they look fabulous? Look at that. Perfect looking scone. Delicious. Okay, so as you can see, they've got this kind of bit in the middle where it kind of separates itself. So you kind of just slightly squeeze the scone and the whole thing should just fall apart. Look at that. You don't even need to cut it in half. Look how gorgeous that is inside. So we're going to butter one. Look at that butter just melting in the scone. And the smell of these, oh my goodness. This is what you want in your kitchen. So beautiful buttered scone. Of course, you could add some jam as well if you wanted to. Another way, I'll just open this up. Perfect. Another way you could serve this is with a dollop of fresh whipped cream or clotted cream and then some jam. Look at that, perfect. Thank you for watching today's video on how to make lovely homemade scones. So I hope you enjoy yours. Thanks for watching and I look forward to doing more videos for you.